previously on Hell's Kitchen Young Guns. HKChefsOnly.com. Chef Ramsay gave the chefs an opportunity to find their perfect matches. A new app, Cooking for <laughs> Love. In a head-to-head -head challenge that tested their ability to compose the perfect dish. John Snow Peas, yes. By swiping their way to the ingredients they love. Arthur mm. Grady Smith, yes. Some chefs were in love. I feel good about my ingredients. While others felt like they were on a date from hell. Everything's on fire and I don't know what I'm doing. Renowned chef Richard Blaze judged the dishes. Point to Steve. And was blown away by both Bryn and Steve's lobster dishes. I'm also gonna award a point to Bryn. Well done. Thank you, chef. And after all battles, the teams were tied. 2-2. Two, two. So now we're gonna go to the best performing dish from both teams. In the end, it was Steve who clinched the win for the blue team. Wow. Oh, would you look at that? Best dish of the day. It was steak night in Hell's Kitchen. Steak night. And the steaks were higher than ever. Just gonna sear these off and we'll bring them back up. Perfect. The blue team delivered a solid service. Nicely cooked, Emily. Thank you, Chef. With strong performances by Emily and Megan. Very nice, Megan. Thank you, Chef. Service, please. And in the red kitchen, it was Sam Antonio that held their team back. That's undercooked. And after overcooked chicken put Sam under fire, over oh my God. and over again. What the fuck are you doing? Chef Ramsay felt he had no choice. Get out. The red team nominated Antonio and Sam. And after Sam couldn't answer a critical question. Who is the weakest cook in the red team? Chef Ramsay had seen enough. Oh, boy. Sam, give me a jacket, young man. Ending his dream of becoming head chef at Gordon Ramsay Steak at Paris, Las Vegas. And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen Young Guns. Get out of here. Good night. Good night, chef. chef. Trenton, yes, what's with the pencil behind you? Are you copying me? No. Fingers crossed it'll make you cook better. Put it back behind your ear. Yes, chef. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning chef. How are you feeling? Great, Great chef. chef. Good. Chefs, our job in our career is to take basic, everyday ingredients and then transform those ingredients into very exciting dishes. I want all of you to watch very, very closely as this amazingly talented woman transforms the ordinary into the extraordinary. From the show Opium by the creators of Absinthe, please welcome the amazing Lilu. Ooh, is that a balloon? My back is hurting just watching her. She's a very flexible lady, that Lulu. I mean, I don't know if I could climb into a big ass balloon like that. I'd get claustrophobic pretty quickly. Oh my God. Holy crap! Like, there's a woman inside a balloon. Like, whoa! Black <laughs> jacket. <laughs> Is that a black jacket? That's right. It is black jacket time. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm ready. It's black jacket time. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I've made it to this moment. <laughs> that was a black jacket performance. Great job. That was so cool. For the rest of the day, you talented seven are going to face a series of challenges. These challenges today will determine whether you're worthy of earning that incredible black jacket. But listen carefully. There are seven of you, and there's only five jackets. I'm gonna fucking do what it takes to get a black jacket. Black Jackets is the premier league. Being able to be in a black jacket and really just representing yourself as one individual is going to be an amazing experience. After the first challenge today, two chefs will earn their incredible black jackets, and their amazing dishes will be featured on a menu at a brand new luxury destination, Sunseeker Resort in Port Charlotte, Florida. So cool, Amazing, chef. chef. To show their appreciation, Sunseeker and our official travel partner, Allegiant Air, are also giving the first two 
Black Jacket recipients today and their families airfare plus accommodations at the lavish Sunseeker Resort in Florida. Pretty cool, right? Yes, yes chef. chef. Since we're in Vegas, we're going to use this specially designed slot machine to randomly assign your ingredients. Everybody understand? Yes, yes chef. We're in. Let's go. Right. Pull away. Ooh. Filet, <laughs> polenta, cremini mushrooms, leeks, and blue cheese. Oh, my lord. Nice. That is a bounty yes, of chef. stunning ingredients. I've never cooked polenta, so I am extremely nervous. Pray it to the culinary gods. Please let me pull it a win on this one. Oh, boy. Up next, Antonio. Ooh. Ooh, scallops, OK. Cauliflower, blood orange, peas. Oh. Pine nuts, OK. Oh, boy. Okay. Scallops, scallops, scallops. Chef Ramsay's favorite. Ooh, with little nerves. <laughs> Big Steve. New York strip. Good nice. One. Potatoes. Ooh. Broccolini, cipollini onions, and pancetta. Wow. Nice. Next up, Kaya. Salmon, beets, Ooh. arugula, asparagus, mm. and creme fraiche. Oh, my lord. That's beautiful. Trenton. Rack of lamb, celery root, Swiss chard, haricots with couvert, and Kalamata olives. All right. Wow. Yeah. Beautiful. Emily. Shrimp. Oh, my lord. Parsnip. Ooh. Spinach. Eggplant. Sun-dried tomatoes. I just really love cooking with eggplant. I, I cook with it almost every day, so I'm really excited. Megan. Say a prayer. Lobster, corn, tomatoes, truffle, wow. and bacon. Oh, my lord. That is a basket of goodies. Ooh. That's a good one. That's a good one. Good luck to all seven of you. Your 45 minutes start now. Off you go. It is black jackets. As of right now, this is definitely the most important day in my life. I know I'm going to do seared salads in some way, shape, or form, but I haven't decided how I'm going to plate it all together yet. OK. Wait, I'm thinking to myself, oh, man, scallops scare the shit out of me. Remember what's at stake? Yes, yeah, chef. You guys have awesome ingredients. You respect the ingredients. You're going to have an amazing dish. Yes, chef. From this point on, there's no more teams. It's all individuals. What are you going to do? Puree this stuff up. Yep. Make a nice, really sophisticated puree out of it. I know I'm one of the best chefs here, and it is time to prove to Gordon Ramsay that I can do this. My confidence level is about an 11, and I'm uh, ready to get this done and uh, put this black jacket on. Careful with that, Trent. I can smell burnt spice. Yep. Oh, yeah. I come from a town called Barrelville. I'm just a small town girl, and I feel like sometimes I get underestimated. Come on, Kai. Yeah, chef. I want to do well on this challenge today to prove that I'm not here by chance. I'm here to fucking win. Oh, you mother. Sorry, homie. Ah! Not a huge fan of lobster. I'm not a huge seafood person to begin with. I feel so bad. But there's a lot on the line with this plate. R.I.P. Larry. Larry the lobster. We're here to cook. We're not here to raise a lobster, so. I'm so sorry, buddy. Poor Larry. It's so quiet in here. Remember when you guys used to talk about your dishes together? Things change, chef. I've never cooked polenta, so I'm definitely nervous about the execution right now. Polenta is like, it's like, it's like grits, isn't it? Yeah. I've done grits before when I was like 12. Double check and triple check seasoning is the big one. Uh, I dream of the black jacket. I really, really want it. Everything that I've gotten in life, I've had to fight really, really hard to get. So this isn't new to me. If I have to be the very last one fighting and dragging my way to get my black jacket, that's what I'm going to do. Maximize that flavor, OK? Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Don't plate too early, yes? Yes, yes chef. chef. Remember, what's the steak? Just be careful, man. You don't want to bite into a whole peppercorn. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll get some of those whole ones off yeah, of there. Be careful. There's definitely a lot of things on the fence here. You got a dish going on the menu, a vacation, and then you've got black jackets, which that's, you know, that's the top of the list for me. Let me see. Nice. There's not any room for error whatsoever. Coming up the last two minutes, start thinking about your plating. Let's go. Finesse, finesse, finesse. <sighs> I'm really afraid about this. Cleaning fucks me every time. 
It's so hard for me to figure out how to make a plate that has finesse on it. Let's go and show some finesse, guys. I personally have no idea what finesse means. Finesse. Come on, Kai. I'm showing my salmon, like, crispy side up, where I uh, sear the skin off beautifully. 30 seconds to go. Let's go. And now I have this lemon beurre blanc. Like, what the fuck am I supposed to do with this now? Fuck. And at the last second, I just pour it over my, my salmon skin, and I'm like, I just fucked myself. Come on, Kai. Sun Seeker Resorts are also looking forward to these exciting dishes. Let's go. Fuck, that's fucking... Five, four, three, two, one, and serve. I'm fucking pleading. Well done. They look beautiful. Today, Chef Ramsay will determine which five of the seven remaining young guns will receive a coveted black jacket. This is the first of three challenges and the first opportunity for two chefs to advance. To help me decide, we have a very special guest judge. Please welcome the Vice President of Food and Beverage and Resort Development for Sunseeker Resorts, Jason Skarupa. Jason, welcome. Thank you, Chef. How are you? I'm great. How um, are you? Very well, indeed. The resort sounds incredible. You've been planning it for many years. Give us a little insight. What's really inspiring about the place is that food and beverage is going to be the pinnacle of what happens down there in Florida, wow. like it's happened here in Vegas. Excellent. Right. First up, Trenton, please. Come forward. Chef. I put my heart on my plate, and I put effort and thought into every single thing I did. Excellent. Hopefully, the extra attention the detail I put into it shows. I have a uh, pan-roasted rack of lamb rubbed with a Kalamata olive tapenade on top of a bed of salraic puree. The cook on the lamb looks really great. I hope yeah. it tastes as good as it looks. Uh, puree looks nice and smooth. How's that taste? I like it very much. Yeah. I like the consistency of it. Wow. It tastes delicious. It's very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good start. Very good start. Thank you. Thank you, Chef. Good job. Right. Next up, Stephen. Let's go. You set the bar high. I just got to be able to match that, if not surpass that. I have a peppercorn crusted New York strip with a lemon and chive broccolini on top of a potato and pancetta hash. Chef, I think the cook on the steak is great. It's visually appealing. For me, it's, it's a lot of pepper. Yeah. You got two peppers on there, right? Yes. You got the pink peppercorns and? Szechuan pepper. Szechuan pepper. So that's a lot of combination in terms of the heat. I agree, Chef. Uh -huh. Those gosh darn Szechuan peppercorns, they are powerful. Thank you. I'm hoping that this peppercorn incident isn't going to be the thing that keeps me away from the black jacket. Up next, Kaya has prepared a saute salmon in a lemon peel beurre blanc. I think it looks nice on the plate. It's not overpowering, and it's very colorful. Mm. I mean, the salmon's cooked beautifully. Mm -hmm. Oh, my lord. But why would you put the beurre blanc on that crispy skin? Just not thinking at the last second when I was plating it. You really softened it up with that beurre blanc on the top. Next up, Megan. Let's go, please. Now Megan is hoping that her lobster tail paired with corn and bacon salad is good enough to earn her a coveted black jacket. It's got a coastal look to it. Mm -hmm. And how does that taste, Jason, the beurre blanc? It's good. Um, for me, it needs a little more seasoning. You're absolutely right. Beurre blanc's good, but it just needs a little more lift. Thank you. Good job. Next up, Emily. I feel really good about my dish. At this point, I'm very used to working with meat and fish. Hello. So I definitely think I have a chance at getting this black jacket. So today I made for you a shrimp poached in a lemon sage bermonte with baba ganoush puree. So the flavors are working for me, but the shrimp is significantly overcooked. What a shame. Thank you. That's not good. Overcooked shrimp, that's not going to compete. But I'm going to fight till the bitter end. It's not over till it's over. Great, let's go, please. I believe in my dish 100%, but at the same time, I'm just a little bit nervous about the cook on my steak. So here you have a filet with mushroom and leek soup. Uh, the cook, what have you gone for? Medium rare to rare, chef. Mm -hmm. Your steaks cooked beautifully. Thank you, Chef. I like the polenta, but when you emerged it into the soup, I kind of lost it a little bit. Yeah, the hero is the filet. Second to that, the starch with the polenta. Don't hide it. Don't hide it, exactly. Yes, Chef. But it eats well. Yeah, very well. Thank you, Chef. Mm. Final dish, 
Antonio, let's go. You know what you're having today is a nice seared scallop, a blood orange gas streak on the bottom, and pickled peas for that bright acidity pop. Holy crap. It's like a crime scene. <laughs> I thought the cook on the scallops was quite nice, seasoned well. Mm -hmm. Great cook on the scallops. Thank you, Chef. Plating's a little bit abstract. There was a lot of emptiness on yeah. the plate. Thank you. Yes, Chef. Jason and I have a very, very difficult decision to make. Excuse us, please. One moment. Jason, let's stop right over here. Um, so... I'm nervous smiling. That's a real awkward smile, Brent. Yeah, that sounds great, doesn't So here we go. The first chef joining that elite club and earning their black jacket is... Trenton. Well done. Oh my god, this is a fucking incredible experience to have persevered and pushed this far and pushed past these people. We look forward to having you and your family down, and we're going to host you down there in Florida. Congratulations. Oh, thank you so much. Great job on the dish. <laughs> thank you. Uh, well done, young man. First recipient of Black Jacket, welcome to the Elite Club. My honor. You've also earned the right to enter the Black Jacket Lounge. Chef Jason's going to show you the lounge. Off you go. Good job. Oh, my goodness. I'm wearing this forever. This is definitely going on my wall somewhere. Absolutely. Holy shit. Amazing, huh? Oh, yeah. You deserved it, buddy. Enjoy. Thank you, Thank you so Relax. much. Relax. The second chef to receive their black jacket is... Bryn. Well done. Told you. Oh well done, young lady. This is fucking insane. Are you kidding me? Congratulations. Thank you. Good job. Congratulations, Thank Bryn. Thank you. I feel like I'm going to cry. I'm definitely going to cry. Bryn, we look forward to having you and your family. Thank Great you job. so much. Welcome Thank to the you. Elite Club. Chef Christina's going to escort you to the lounge. Congratulations. Thank well you. done. I'm so excited. Welcome to the club. Oh, my God. I am now part of the Elite Club. Thank you. Oh! Hell yeah. We fucking earned this, dude. Hanging out at the Black Jacket Lounge is... It's a phenomenal experience. Come here often. <laughs> I'm gonna do the Black Jaquito. There's a mixologist making us drinks, a sushi maker who's making us phenomenal sushi. A5 Uwagi beef. Tuna from Hawaii. Yes, tuna. Cheers, Cheers. to the Black Jackets. The first Black Jackets. I have never been, like, pampered like this before. Do any of you guys want a pedicure? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's five of you left. There's only three jackets remaining. Here's how you're going to earn your next Black Jacket. You've all played craps, right? Yes, yes chef. chef. Each of you will take a turn rolling this multi-side die. Whatever letter you roll, you must quickly name an ingredient that starts with that letter. All five of you are cooking with the same ingredients. Understood? Yes, yes chef. chef. Yeah? To get you started, I'm going to roll for the protein. Here we go. B! So I'm going to say... Bluefin tuna. Oh, cool. Awesome. I got to work with tuna, and I've never fucking worked with tuna before. So, like, I'm really starting to be nervous right off the bat. Right, Steve, you're up next. Give it a little kiss, a little blow, make Ready. a wish. Here we go. Steve's choice. Ah! I'm going to say rice. Smart. Antonio. Here we go, big man. P! P. Uh, peppers. Uh, red bell. Can I do bell pepper? Pep well, pepper. <laughs> Kaya, off you go. Lordy. T! That's a great one. Oh, let me pull out my fucking food dictionary real quick. Turnips. Great. Back in line. Emily, off you go. Nice. H! H. Heirloom tomatoes. Smart. Meg, off you go. L. L. Um, I want to do lemons, chef. Lemons? Yes, chef. We're going to roll again for you. We'll give you that seventh ingredient, right? Good. Here we go. <laughs> R. 
I'm going to finish it off and give you that seventh ingredient. I'm going to roll again for you, OK? <laughs> <laughs> B, I'm going to say black truffle, whether it's a beautiful puree, a black truffle vinaigrette. Yes? Yes, yes chef. chef. Excited? Yes, yes chef. chef. Remember, you're all cooking with the same seven ingredients. So to earn a black jacket, creativity is a must. Your 45 minutes start now. Heading, guys. In today's second Black Jacket Challenge, the remaining five chefs will have 45 minutes to show their creativity by coming up with amazing dishes while using the same seven ingredients. What are you thinking, Antonio? I think I'm going to do like a truffle tomato jam. I think that could be really decadent if I do that right. I'm going to try to do something a little different than everyone else is. So I'm thinking the tomato truffle jam can make me shine. Is this your tomato jam back here? Yes. I think it turned out really good. Make sure this dish is good enough to get into that incredible Black Jacket lounge. Let's go. Oh, my toes are going so good. <laughs> this is when you know you've made it, dude. Mm-hmm. feel pretty already. <laughs> Let's go. At this point, it's every man for themselves. It's strictly business. Don't overcook it. I'm going to throw it in the fridge. Oh, you're going to serve it chill? Yes, chef. Dig it. I came here to win, and uh, I think I absolutely deserve a black jacket. Um, there's three left, and, you know, one of them's going to me. <laughs> Stay as calm as you've been. Yes, chef. Okay. It's no different, it's just a challenge. Okay? Yes, Chef. I've never worked with bluefin tuna before or any type of tuna for that matter. Okay. Figure it out, Kyle. 16 minutes to go. I've had like tuna salad sandwiches out of a can, but I've never like been a person that's like, mmm, let me go get this filet version of tuna and let me cook it up. Antonio, how long did you cook your tuna for? Uh, about 30 seconds each side. What's your plan for the truffle? Uh, the truffle, I'm, I'm gonna put some in the risotto. I'm a little nervous about this, actually. And I'm gonna shave some more on top. Great. Tonight, we're cooking for a black jacket. That's the only thing that I want. There's, there's nothing else. Careful, your garlic's burning. Damn it. Four minutes, guys, let's go. All I have in my head right now is sushi, and I can't think of anything different. So I'm gonna do sushi today. Oh, you mean literally a, like a yeah. sushi roll? Yeah but I just want to elevate it to the point that chef will be OK with the tuna not being cooked. 60 seconds to go, guys. This is it. Uh, come on. The sushi wouldn't roll, so I got to do something completely different. 30 seconds to go. This is just the most hopeless feeling I've ever, I've ever felt. Finesse all the way around. Click, click. Five, four, three, two, one, and serve, please. Let's go. Right, uh, well done. I'm going to taste each dish one at a time. Once I've tasted all five amazing dishes, I'm going to send two of you forward with black jackets. Emily, bring me your dish, please. OK, first of all, what happened, young lady? Ended up being a tuna rice salad with a spicy mayo with minced truffle. Right, season's on point, but you know it's a mess, right? Yes, um, chef. With so much at stake, there's no way that dish warrants a black jacket. You have to wait for the next challenge. Yes, Chef. Thank you. It's embarrassing taking up a plate of mush to Chef Ramsay. You still have a challenge, young lady. I never, ever, ever, ever want to do that again in my life. Kaya, please, let's go. Kaya is hoping to deliver a black jacket-worthy dish with her sesame-crusted tuna paired with jasmine rice, blistered tomatoes, and pickled turnips. Have you cooked? Much tuna? No, chef. Not first time ever. Tonight's your first time ever cooking tuna? Yeah, chef. Is this beginner's luck? Probably, chef. <laughs> Tuna's cooked beautifully. It's a very solid effort. Thank, Thank you. you. Chef. I love the cleverness. I don't want to seem too cocky, but I'm a protein master when it comes to this competition. Beautifully done. Thank you, chef. Steve, let's go, please. My plate looks nice, and I feel like mine is the most creative, so hopefully I can get this black jacket and be chilling. I've got a fennel dusted tuna, and it's on top of a tomato and black truffle risotto, and it's got a shaved turnip salad on top. You have to be super careful not to slice it too thin, otherwise it starts to tear. Mm -hmm. See how it falls apart when you slice it too thinly. All right, Chef. That tuna's cooked beautifully. Thank you, Chef. The turnips and that salad is refreshing. You got that lift there. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Another solid effort. 
After strong showings by Kaya and Steven, Antonio looks to stand out with his seared tuna paired with lemon-scented rice and tomato truffle jam. Where do you see the truffle tomato jam? I've never seen it before, but I make a tomato jam at work all the time. I love the idea of the jam, but you don't stick truffles in tomatoes. Yes, chef. Thank you. Yes, chef. Last but not least, Megan, let's go. Chef Ramsay's absolutely nitpicking everything, but he's handing out black jackets. That's top notch. You got to be top notch. So it's a sesame seared tuna with a balsamic soy glaze and rice salad. You've cooked the tuna absolutely spot on. The glaze and the tuna is delicious. It's the rice that doesn't punch anywhere near as good as the tuna. Presented better. Yes, chef. But the tuna is beautiful. Thank you. I feel good about my dish, so now we anxiously wait and see. This is tough. Two of you will now receive a black jacket. The next person earning a black jacket is... The next person earning a black jacket is... Megan. Well done, young lady. Thank you, Chef. Well done. Well done. How do you feel? Amazing, Chef. Whatever happens in this competition from now on in, you've got the jacket, girl. Yes, Chef. Yeah? Congratulations. Thank you so much. Uh, go and enjoy that amazing lounge. I always dreamed of getting here, but yeah, holy shit. This is snazzy. Have a drink. <gasps> we get our toes painted? This is where it gets really tough. The next chef receiving a black jacket is... Kaya, well done. Young lady, great work. If that's the first time ever cooking tuna, girl, oh, boy. Thank you, chef. How are you feeling? Freaking awesome. Good girl. Hey. <laughs> amazing. Thank and you so chef. you should feel amazing because that was nailed, okay? Another small town chef with big dreams. I can see how much that dish means to you. Enjoy that lounge. Thank you. I'm just really proud of myself, and it really is a best moment to have this in my hands and be able to say, like, I'm here in the top five. Right? Yeah. I am so, so excited to see Kaya walking through those doors right now. Are we actually playing champagne pong? Yes. I didn't expect much coming out here, and then hearing Chef Ramsay's feedback on, like, him being proud of me and how far I've come, it is really surreal. Oh, I don't know if this is going to work. You know, here in Vegas, a lot of people let their fate be determined by charts. But for the final black jacket, I am leaving nothing to chance. Tonight, I'd like to bring you all back to your roots. I have three very special messages for all of you. Check this out. Hi, Emily. Hi, Emily. Hi. We love you. We miss you so much. Never forget that we're always behind you. You've been cooking since you were little. You've always loved cooking, and you love to make people happy through food. And we think back to that time when you made us vanilla eggs. <laughs> and pretend that we liked it. You do everything with your whole heart, from when you were a little girl all the way till now. Everything is with your heart and with love. Super proud of you. Keep going, girl. You got this. We love you. You we got love it, you. baby. Bye. 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 <laughs> wow. How gorgeous. Thank you for that, chef. They said that you cook with love, <laughs> and they are absolutely correct. I couldn't have done it without those three people. Those are my rocks, and I thank God every day that I have those people in my life. Amazing. Hey, Antonio, how's it going, man? <laughs> I remember all the times you were following us in the kitchen, and now you're cooking for Chef Ramsay. Good job, Antonio. Just want to say good luck to you, and I'm glad that you got this far. And keep your head up and show them what Texas is made of. Amazing. How are you feeling right now? We're ready to fight, Jeff. I got to fire him. Good. 
Hey, Casey, we love and we miss, miss, miss you. you. We're so proud of you, and you know your Nana will be proud of you too. So Steve, listen, there should be no question in your mind whether or not you can do this, son. Limitations are mental, <laughs> and the only person that can limit you, son, is you. So never give up, and, and we'll, we'll see you at the finish line. Oh yeah, I'm ready to dump my heart on a plate for you, chef. That's exactly what I want you to do. Now, I have an amazing array of ingredients. Find your story across those ingredients. Understand? Yes, yes chef. chef. When you present your dish, I want to understand the reason why you made it. You have 45 minutes. It's your last chance to earn a black jacket. Your time starts now. Let's go. In today's final black jacket challenge, Ooh, shit. Chef Reamsey has tasked the three remaining chefs to create a black jacket worthy dish inspired by their messages from home. Yes. Don't take chances. Yeah, chef. Chef. Growing up, my dad was always cooking in the kitchen. My mom's always cooking in the kitchen. So that's what kind of set the fire in me to begin with. What are you thinking so far? Enchiladas verdes. Go on syrup San Antonio. Braised chicken thigh. Get that really nice and perfect, like beautiful salsa. I'm doing everything that's, that's me. Yeah, cook from here, OK? Uh, it's extremely risky to, to try to braise chicken in 45 minutes, but I definitely want to show Chef Ramsey that I can use something as simple as, you know, enchilada as a comfort food and make it elevated and take it to a whole other level. If I do it right, this could be the thing that gives me a black jacket. When Antonio has free reign, though, like, he always pulls through. Same. That's, That's what I'm thinking. Thing. That's the kicker. Emily's so stressed. My nerves are at an all-time high. You guys are cooking. I want you to think of your family. This is them on a plate. But seeing my family talk just reminded me of, you know, what they love and what their passions are. And it really is inspiring me to just cook for them today. Emily is frazzled. I feel like Emily picked a T-bone trying to be, like, impressive. Do you think she's cooked a T-bone? No. What's the inspiration behind this dish? My dad, you know, he's like a grill master. Yep. And so I'm going to grill these ribeye and um, my- Those aren't ribeyes. What, sorry, what are they? Well, this is awkward. With only one black jacket remaining, what's the inspiration behind this dish? My dad. Antonio, Steve, and Emily are cooking for their lives in the final challenge of the day. You know, he's like a grill master. Yeah. And so I'm going to grill these ribeye and um, my- Those are ribeyes. What, sorry, what are they? They're porterhouse. Porterhouse, OK. So you have the New York strip here yeah, yeah, and then yeah, the yeah. tenderloin. Even though I don't know what the name of it is, I'm still going to cook with it. So that's a big steak for a vegetarian. <laughs> wow. This is what my dad would choose. All right. Shrimp and grits. Grandmama's favorite. Grandma taught me to make grits from a young age. You know, perfect grits, always. So I'm definitely feeling grandma, her spirit is kind of channeling through my spine. I can feel it a little bit. Her seasoning power is coming through these fingers. I'm just a vessel at this point. Down behind. I feel like she would be so proud seeing me thrive, knowing something that I absolutely love to do, and seeing something that she inspired me to do. Five minutes remaining, yes? Yes, yes chef. chef. Check everything, guys, yes? Seasoning, yes, presentation. Final jacket up for grabs. Let's go. Yes, yes chef. chef. I don't think any of, any of them thought they would be in this position. Right. All of them fighting for one position. 60 seconds remaining. Come on, let's go. Look at that steak. Oh, yeah. Five, four, three, two, one, and serve, please. This is your last opportunity to earn a black jacket and get yourself into that elite club. Right, let's start off with Antonio. Let's go, please. My dish is perfect. It's something that, you know, I grew up on, something that's in my soul, something that's just part of me. I definitely think I'll be getting a black jacket soon. Describe the dish, please. It's enchiladas verdes, chorizo poached chicken thighs. I made a tomatillo salsa topped with cotija. This is reminiscent seeing my dad uh, yeah. growing up, having Mexican food all the time. Wow, look at that. Amazing, amazing. What do you braise the chicken in? Chorizo fetch. 
chicken's cooked beautifully. Just needs a touch more seasoning on there. Apart from that, you've elevated comfort food, and Thank it is chef. delicious, young man. Thank you, chef. Well done. Whew. I got butterflies in my stomach. It's crazy. I really, really think I'm putting one of those jackets on. Right, next up, Emily, let's go, please. Yes, chef. I think I really put together a superstar of a dish. I think Chef Ramsay loves his steak and loves those flavors, so I definitely think I have a chance at getting this black jacket. OK, describe the dish, please. My dad was, you know, the one who really sparked my food interests. Mm -hmm. And he is the grill master. So <laughs> I grilled the porterhouse for you and roasted Brussels sprouts and then a blue cheese and bacon mash. Wow. The sprouts are delicious. Thank you, Chef. Porterhouse, one of the most difficult proteins to nail because you've got two cuts. Yes, chef. You've got this strip, and inside that, you've got this beautiful fillet. Yes, Chef. It's such a tough one to cook. Mm -hmm. You can see the fillet's overcooked. Yes, Chef. Yeah? So yes, that's chef. towards medium, medium well. Yes, Chef. The strip, that's cooked beautifully. Thank you, Chef. Okay. That's always the issue. You've got one side under and one side over. Yes, Chef. Seasoned beautifully. Thank you, Chef. Mashed delicious. Sprouts, a big hit. Yes, Chef. I feel the passion. I understand the depth of the flavor and what you're trying to extract from home here onto this place. Uh, it's a really good dish. Well done. Thank you, Chef. Wow. Good job. Steve, let's go. I'm 100% confident in this dish. It's just like a human heart just beating on the plate at this point, because it's all of me. Describe the dish, please. It's a black and grilled shrimp and grits for you. Why shrimp and grits? Uh, shrimp and grits was always like my grandmother's favorite dish. And I mean, she's the whole reason I'm here. She's the one who got me started in cooking. Um, tell me about the spinach. What do you do to that? The spinach, I just sauteed those up with some peppers and onions and a little bit of bacon. Shrimp cooked beautifully. When you have grits that rich, and then the blackened seasoning on that incredible shrimp, one thing the dish misses is the acid at the end. And that's always a given, especially with shrimp. Dish is well executed. It's got a great visual impact. Good job. Well done. One of you will be heading to that black jacket lounge. Two of you will be heading home. The first chef not receiving a black jacket is... The first chef not receiving a black jacket is... Emily. Young lady, come over, please. Let me tell you something. You've been one of the best learners in this competition. And I don't know if I've ever met a chef with a more positive, stunning outlook than you have on a daily basis. There's something infectious about your energy that you bring to light every day. You have a very wise head on your shoulders. Thank you, Chef. And inside, there's this little genius that's just about to start emerging. OK. Thank you so much. OK. This is such an amazing experience. Oh, dear. <laughs> You're going out on a high. Yes, Don't chef. you dare forget that, yes, OK? Chef. Yes, Chef. I'm going to have to ask for your jacket, young lady. Yes, Chef. Well done. Thank you, Chef. Head up. Thank okay. You. Good luck, guys. Thank you. Ah, I really did want that black jacket. That is a disappointment. But you know, this experience has just meant the world to me. I will remember this for the rest of my life. I think my future is so bright that I don't need that black jacket. I'm going to do something worthwhile of my own. First of all, Steve and Antonio, those two excellent dishes you gave me. It felt that everything you've learned and strive for in this competition are across those dishes. The final chef to receive a black jacket is... Steve. Jump. Young man, I think you've just cooked the best dish you've ever produced in this competition. Thank you, chef. It showed grace. It had a depth of flavor beyond belief. But more importantly, it's one of the most passionate dishes I've tasted from you. Thank you, Chef. This is the best moment of my life. I'm not going to lie to you. It, it really is. Congratulations. Thank you, Chef. Well done. I don't know if I could have done this without old Nana, because the whole reason I got this jacket is because of that woman. And 
just so grateful that she took the time to teach me all the things that she taught me. Antonio, right, uh, listen carefully. You have this energy about you for 23. You cook like you're 33. You're a hard worker, you wear your heart on your sleeve, and your attitude is incredible. You may not be getting a black jacket tonight, but you definitely do have a wonderful career ahead of you. Thank you, Chef. Now I need your jacket. Head up. Yes? Chef. yes? On a button. Definitely see you later, Chef. I appreciate it so much. Yes. OK? Yes, Chef. Oh, boy. It's the difference between beating myself and getting beat by somebody who was better. It's a night Steve was better. And that's, that's OK with me. It's been a hell of a ride. I'm, I'm glad I did it. Chef Ramsey will definitely see me again. Scuba, scuba, scuba. Yes, Steve, yes. Like, I was waiting for Steve to come through the doors the entire time. Aw, Steven. Steve walks in, cool as a cucumber. And I'm just like, you know what? Like, you really deserve it. Put it on, Steve. Wear it yeah. proud. Black looks good on you. Woo! Oh, this black jacket feels so good on my skin. Oh, I've been waiting for this for so long. It's good. It's, I feel absolutely spectacular. Young guns playing champagne pong. Hey, hello, come in. May I? Hi, oh, chef. My goodness, Hi, chef. Congratulations to you all. Thank you, chef. We good? Yes, chef. Final five, yes. yes How cool. Chef. This whole thing has all been worth it to lead up just to this black jacket moment. There's a 20% chance now for each of us. I'm so pumped for what the future holds right now. Now, these jackets symbolize your talent. You should be very, very proud, right? Yes, yes chef. chef. This jacket is snazzy. <laughs> <laughs> what an amazing journey. Cheers, guys. Cheers. To the Black Jackets, well done. Black Jackets. Young Guns. Having Chef Ramsey give a toast to us, the Black Jackets, it's like, <sighs> man, like, I, I feel like I made it. <laughs> Next time on House Kitchen Young Guns. The final five chefs. We're all in black jackets now, so this is the big leads. Face their toughest critics yet. At the 7.5 million followers. Chef Ramsay's loyal fans. 7.5 million people. When the heat is on. I want a little bit more composure from you tonight. Yes, Chef. Yeah? Let's go. Will the black jackets impress yes, Chef, Chef Ramsay? Engage with me, study me, look in the eyes, and fucking stare me out. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little intimidated. Or will they buckle under the pressure? As a side of a panic chef, we are not panicking. When they're forced to turn on each other. Now I have a slight problem. Have you seen her grow? I'm talking to you right yeah, now. Yeah. I definitely want to backhand Trenton. Or just punch him straight up in the face. Find out next time on a knockdown, drag out episode. I'm not going down without a fight. Of Hell's Kitchen.